Right, super quick video today. Um, we've got the Thunderpole T800. I've had, I've got a couple of these now, and uh, inspired by the PMR net last night that seemed to be very active. I thought I would just quickly was out to sight because I've not tried this mobile with the uh, the new Mac mount antenna I've got or had for a little while, and just see if there's anyone on. Right, let's go to sight. We've got the radio hanging off of one of its little arms there. That's all right for this test. I will make a little bracket to go in there, I think. And um, we've got the mic on the Thunderpole here. It's conveniently got the auto squelch buttons and the up and down buttons on the top. So um, we'll put in a few calls as we go mobile to site. And uh, we'll record it on the SDR and see what it sounds like. Just square wheeled waiting to get out of the junction now from my house. This speeding car is carrying a man with a mission. The world famous secret agent, Secret Squirrel. What do you see, public? Right, I haven't SWR'd this antenna, um, so uh, I'm not sure what my results are going to be like. Um, but I've come up to some pretty high ground up here. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you have a whiz round. This is basically where we, we tested the um, the little slimmer Xiaomi radio. And I've even dressed like a, a truck diver today as we're doing a CB test. I thought that was uh, appropriate. Just forgot the Yorkie bar, but never mind. Um, right, we'll, we'll switch to channel 19. I've stopped monitoring back at base now. Um, we're going to see if we can make any contacts on channel 19. I haven't done this for a very long time. One nine for Roger. This is Secret Squirrel on high ground in Warwickshire, just doing a test of a T800. Can anyone give me a quick rig check? Working absolutely fine to me. Oh, many, many thanks. Um, whereabouts are you, roughly? You, you're in Didcot, was it? Sorry, go again on your location. Yeah, I copy that. Yeah, I'm just square wheeled on some high ground near the village of Tyso with a, a T800 and a Sirio Magma. And I just wanted to know how well I was getting out there. Uh, could you give us your location again, please? Yeah, well, you're, you're coming over absolutely fine there. I think you're a radio 5. I can't quite see the signal. I think that's about a 5 band, 5 and 5 a link. Alright, ah, superb. Well, that's that's not too bad then. Um, yeah, you're a very good signal with me as well. Uh, very very nice clear audio as well. I wonder what um, what CB and setup you got there. Um, well, I've got one of these KPO power mics. I can't remember the name of it now, you know, Luke. Oh, the, built, the built in CB. Yeah, sorry about that, I just dropped the microphone. Yeah, yeah, you're getting out really, really well with that. I mean, I am on some fairly elevated ground up here, uh, and uh, I was fully expecting to be uh, getting contacts from the north of me, but uh, you're well to the south of me there, so um, that's, uh, that's, that's quite a, quite a good uh, step, although I think conditions today are probably quite favorable, I would imagine. Um, just out of interest, is the CB in your working vehicle, or is it just, um, just for pleasure? Yeah, it, th there is activity. You tend to find them, there's there's more activity on the repeaters um, a little bit further afield. So the local repeater, which is GB3EH, there's not a huge amount on. But um, some of the repeaters, as you go a bit more north, tend to get a bit more active. Daventry seems to be quite busy. And some of the Midlands repeaters. But, yeah, it's well worth taking the exam. It's um, well worth doing. I, mean, I think I did mine in 1991. <laughs> A long time ago, but um, it's really well worth doing. So yeah, best of luck with that. Superb. Thank you. 
Yeah, I've been wanting to do it for many, many years now, but you just keep putting these things off, don't you? Because obviously they've got the amateur radio club in Banbury, but um, during the COVID thing, obviously that's all locked down, so it's all online at the moment, so I'm doing it through Eticsam, but, um, you know, I just sort of wondered what, what, uh, what sort of activities around here, like, yeah, I might get, have, a, have a listen in for that sometime. Yeah, it's, I think it's 8 o'clock on a Sunday night, and, um, the, yeah, it seems to be quite a buzz now. There's quite a lot of folks on it. There's, um, there's a guy on YouTube called Ringway Manchester who's um, done a video on it, and he had, I think, 100 contacts on it yesterday. Uh, he's going to put up a video up this week. So, um, yeah, it was really busy. It was like a pile-up on there. So, um, yeah, it's getting uh, not quite like the good old days of CB, but, I mean, it's, 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 it's not far off it, really, on a Sunday night at 8 o'clock. So, yeah, it's really, really good fun. And, uh, yeah... Well, I'm going to drop back down to 19, and I think it was Nigel, wasn't it, and do, do a little bit more calling out, see if I get any, any more response. It was just really a test of this uh, new radio and antenna, because I've not tried it before, and uh, I thought I would just uh, put a few calls out and see what I come back with. So thanks for uh, coming back to the call. That's really great. And um, perhaps we'll chat a little bit further down and maybe meet up on the repeaters there. Yeah, that'd be good, though. Just before you go, though, you do not have a, a YouTube channel yourself, do you? It's just your voice sounds very familiar. Uh, yeah, I, I do, yeah. Um, uh, Noxy Man. Oh, OK, yeah. Yeah, I am subscribed to that one as well, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. I just recognised your voice from somewhere. That was all, yeah. Yeah, very good, then. Ah, uh, right, OK. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Yeah, I do get recognised from time to time. That's great. Thanks for the uh, subscription. And, uh, yeah, you'll be on the next video. So, uh, if you don't, as long as you don't mind, that is. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. OK. We'll catch you soon, then. Have a good one. Yeah, cheers, Nigel. Thanks. Well, that was fun. Thanks for that, Nigel, uh, in Chipping Norton. Uh, we're quite a step from Chipping Norton here, as the crow flies. It's off in that direction over there. Um, so I'll, I'll map that and just see exactly how far we were. But that's really good, someone coming back to me. Uh, I don't know what the wind noise is going to be like up here. Um, but we'll, we'll get back in the car, uh, run the AC for a bit, cool down, and then we'll put a few more calls out on 19 and uh, see if we get any activity. But certainly on this high ground, we do seem to be... Uh, picking up signals whereas back at base uh, we can't seem to get too much activity so um, but we'll give it a try it's a good bit of fun 7812 frequency 7812 yeah you got uh, secret squirrel square wheeled in uh, Warwickshire go ahead check your check your frequency 018 1 Charlie Tango 018 east coast of Italy and Chadi Prima 199 Makita Chassau for France on the sud of France standing by QRZ QRZ Station in the south, south of France you've got Secret Squirrel I'll have to put an Italian accent then <laughs> 18 years I've been here my friend yeah, I know, it's too much of a British accent, I know. I know, it's too much of a British accent. What do I think to do about it? Uh, uh, I can't do nothing about it. There you go. I was going to Hampton. So that guy that was just on there was in the port of Ancona, which is Italy. <laughs> he was clear, wasn't he? He was clear in, he was clear in Italy there, wasn't he? My goodness. I don't think anyone's going to copy me. No one believes me. It's too much of a British accent. That's a good one. I love that one. Uh, Okay, so 1919, QDX to QDX, and uh, Station in Ancona, station in Ancona, you're receiving me. Yeah, not very like, likely a, a station in Ancona is going to be receiving on uh, on this sort of power I've got, I'm running here. I'm guessing a lot of these uh, CB guys um, on the on here uh, on FM are running some serious power. Um, I'm running for uh, probably about four watts off this radio, so I don't think I'm going to be getting back to them. But nonetheless, it's coming through nice and clear. Uh, very nice and clear, but um, I'll have a flip around some of the other channels and see what we can find. But um, I think there might be a little bit of a lift on just at this point, actually. I've not checked my phone, but I think uh, that's exceptional uh, kind of conditions, really. Um, so th there's obviously some kind of uh, uh, lift on just at this point, uh, briefly. So we'll have a flip round. Let's have a look.
Just keep up and memorise it. It was uh, Mike something. sweating like a june bride in here my goodness really really warm well i think that was that was pretty good actually i mean i mean there was a lot of i mean on am it was like channel after channel i think there's quite a lot of sidebanders on there as well and um obviously a lot of these people like i say are pushing power but um certainly uh on a nice day on some high ground there just seemed to be a bit of activity on cb I bet if I'd have come up here on the uh, yesterday at eight o'clock on PMR, uh, I'd have been quite busy as well. So I think we'll perhaps do that uh, uh, on the next uh, PMR net. So uh, I think I'll come up here and square wheel and we'll see what we can do from here because we did quite well from base uh, back on Sunday. So, um, right, okay, I think I'll leave it at that for today. I'll go and throw this footage together for you guys and you can have a little look. Um, uh, certainly some characters still left on the CB there and uh, that's not changed since the 1980s and, and there's still quite a few I think that never moved on uh, to amateur and are still quite happy on the CB so that's great that's up to them but that's great right uh, if you have been thank you ever so much for watching um, I'm gonna go home and have a cold beer we'll catch you on the next one stop the car at headquarters Morocco yes sir here we are secret